Drop it. What is up guys, regular show guy 124 here. Thanks for tuning in on my video here. And uh this video today <coughs> so this video today is going to be about on how to find the Mario Easter egg. Um this is not fake. I know a lot of you have probably already seen all the Easter eggs on Dying Light, but this is for the people who haven't. But if you did, um, you can stick around too. Um So um if you're new to this this is not fake. This is real. First time I found it out, I was like, what? But it is kind of cool. Um, more Easter eggs probably are out there. Possibility. Um, but have not been officially confirmed yet. But let's just hope there are some new ones. I heard that there is a Last of Us Easter egg and a um, Plants vs. Zombies. I'm not really a big fan of both. But I will check them out just for you guys, because you guys mean the world to me. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to find the Mario Easter egg. And to do that, uh, we have to make it to the radio tower. Now, this Easter egg is achieved in Old Town. So, you might need to make it um, in your uh, campaign, I think. In the campaign, you have to... Um, get to a certain part before you can go to Old Town but when you do that I believe you can just go over to the radio tower just free roam and just kill zombies or whatever you want to do but um the radio tower is right over there so um I will go over there with my superman speed and right guys well, I hope you noticed that we got here fast we speed traveled yes we did uh, really, I just cut the video. <laughs> so, um, you know, we speed traveled here, aka cuts on the map. You, this is the location to finding the um, uh, the Mario Easter egg. Sorry, I feel like I'm so dead. Here's the location of finding the Mario Easter egg. Now, when I first saw this um, location, um. Like, I recently saw it, and I remember this one time, like, I watched the video on YouTube, alright, and he marked, he marked it right here, and this looks kind of similar to this, so I was like, what? But just so y'all, just so you know that this is not this, there'll be two bolters, two bolter feeding grounds next to it, and also... There would be this Peter Griffin shaped chin next to it. Um, so that's one way to know. So I bet you're wondering, like, yeah, what do you have to tell us the locations? We could just know the radio. We could just go to the radio uh, and just find all the tubes from there. Well, you have to go on each chimney. Uh, just poke around, see in each chimney, and there are like 30 or 40 or 50 of these, of those. They're like, oh my god, they're like scattered everywhere. I've been searching around, couldn't find any, so I just decided to look up, um, a video on YouTube on how to find it. I just need to know how to find it, and that's it. So, uh, now you know your location. It's right there. And now, we're gonna show you what it's like and find the, the blueprint to the Paisa suit. The Paisa suit is where you can glide. I'm gonna show you a quick thing of what it does. You glide across, across with the L2, but if you, gr if you glide for too long, you lose control and this happens. <coughs> causing you to die. If, if, like, if you're playing multiplayer, right? Your friend will literally have to revive you if you like. Let's say you will glide all the way out there. Uh, I'm gonna actually do that. All right, so this is a stupid attempt of mine to show you what not to do. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why did I do that? Ah! Do we lose our? Do we lose our checkpoints? 
Wow, we spawned it right back in. Oh my god. We spawned it right back in the house. Oh, it's raining. So here's what happens. So you're flying, your screen gets all blurry, and then doom, you fall. And you lose a tremendous amount of health. Um, like half, all the way half, kind of. So we're just going to want to make it back to where we were. So that is the blueprint. So you, you, you find a blueprint in the Mario Easter egg slash stage or world, I guess you could call it. And um, that's what you get for the Mario blueprints slash Paisa suit. Um, so I'm going to show you what's aside there. And um, let's go. All right. Haha, <laughs> so we're here. And this may look funny to you, but these zombies are no joke. They will kind of take down like thirds of your health. Not half, but thirds of your health. And uh, I'll show you an example. Well, I guess you could say itsy bitsy thirds, but if you get close to like two or three of them and they hit you, you're most likely dead if you just stand there. So you have to jump and then press L1. And then uh, I'm going to complete this stage real quick. Show you what it's like. And then we're going to go ahead and find that blueprint. So when I complete the stage, I'm going to cut the video. Oh my god. No. So yes, you can die if you fall in the blue, the red Kool-Aid fried chicken water, or whatever. If you fall in the red Kool-Aid water, which we all know what it is. We're just going to keep it in a prayer being Alright, let's just keep it for real. You fall in the red zombie blood juice. And then you will die. No, sorry guys. No swimming. No drinking yet. Um, <laughs> disappointment for me too. So we're just going to wait for this bullet to cross by. Douche. Alright, exploded. Jump. Jump. Oh, we got the moves like Jagger. Got the moves like Jagger. Got the moves like Jagger. Alright. Oh, no! Are you freaking serious? No! Alright, so these zombies have a slick, slick mushroom on them. Like, when I mean slick, I mean they're very slippery, so look. Try to jump on them. No! Alright, so we're just gonna complete it for real. I mean, I was trying my best, but everything keeps on getting my way. Like, bull, like, I mean, not bolters, but exploders or whatever. And bolters are on here. What if bolters were aggressive? Oh my god! That piece of crap annoys the crap out of me. I don't care about no bombers or creepers or whatever they are. So, we're going to complete the what? Ah, oh, man. Alright, so, once you die of a limit, you can still go back there. There's, like, you can stay in there as long as you want, but it will force you out. So, you will have to make it back. So thank you for tuning in to this video. I know my commentary is the best. It may seem like I'm dead. It's just like I got my thoughts all jumbled up, guys. You gotta understand where I'm coming from. But, um, I plan on making more Far Cry videos, some more regular craft. We're working on a regular craft video. We have already, we're recording right now. It's just, all right, I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of what we're doing. I wasn't supposed to tell you guys this, but I was supposed to leave it a surprise. But we're going to be summoning the wither without creative or anything else. So we have two wither heads. All right, move. So we have two wither heads. What the? All right, all right, it's right here. So we have two wither heads, and we just need to keep on res restarting and restarting the nether so we can keep on killing all the withers and get the third wither head. So it's kind of hard, but we can trigger the system to give us uh, the third wither head but it's out there we must not give up hope so i wanted to save that video for you guys 
So that's the reason why I haven't been uploading that much regular craft videos. Is because uh, I was planning something special. So uh, we're just gonna wait for this piece of glop of crap to explode. And then we're just going to run, run. Alright, we're gonna try not to crash into anything. Alright, jump. Jump over the Goombas. The Goombas. Goomba Goomba. Goomba Gaba. Goomba Goomba. I want Goomba. Hooey. Surprisingly, there is no trophy to this. I wish there was like a hidden trophy to all the Easter eggs. Like if you find some. Or go to that location. Yay, you found the Mario Easter egg. Now there is like a different Easter eggs. Like a... The rail, and then I would think they're supposed to be like a pop, but what the heck? Alright. Alright, uh, now I'm gonna show you where the location of that blueprint is, cause it is kinda neat, you can kinda fly. Um, if you don't have a, uh, grappling hook, I oh my god, I recommend you getting the the pies the suit cause let's say you have a grappling hook you'll feel like getting over there just ignore this That's, and you don't feel like jumping over there cause I'm gonna try to jump over there I won't make it so um you have to make sure the area is like it's like a gap like this so you can fly it's don't make it like a gap all the way I don't know, all the way down there, because you already saw what happened. So we're going to find this blueprint right here. It's kind of cool. Fly, whatever. I already said that. Um, so I will see you guys later. And let's fast travel. All right, do, 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 guys. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm going to show you where the, um, where the freaking, where the uh, wingsuit slash glide suit is. Y'all all been waiting for. Now, um, it won't pop up on my screen because I already collected the blueprint. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I already so if you collected it once and you have a YouTube channel, you can't show it to your viewers because you already collected it. So, um, there be an invisible box. So, all right. So, first, show you where the location is. All right. Since I can't mark it on the map, actually, I can, but you know, I I, I just it's inconsiderable so after you make it over these two pipes or three or how many ever what I don't know I'm gonna actually give a number <laughs> so after you make it over one two three so after you make it over the fourth green pipe it should look like this like all plain just a free running zone um, and a yellow block and some other wooden blocks just running, just going down the path. So um, so when you get right here, you want to just keep on jumping, and just keep on jumping and going forward too. And when you keep on jumping and going forward, oh, I I, I hit the block. Oh. Wait, what the heck? All right, see so when you keep on jumping. Alright, so eventually. <laughs> oh, yeah, here it goes, here it goes. Alright, so look. An invisible block will come up. Oh, the invisible block will come up. So, for you, it will just pop up just like how it, how it is for me right now. I mean, who knows? Maybe it will. But you have to keep on jumping. And then you, ha then you have to hit this, or you can jump right here. And then a blueprint will pop up, <laughs> or you can look under it when it's invisible, and um, you will see that it's a blueprint. But you have to keep on doing this or whatever. But all I know <laughs> is you have to keep on jumping from right here. Just keep on jumping, and then you will land on a visible block. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the clips. Sorry I had to edit like this. There was just some unnecessary clips there. And always, hope you enjoyed the video. And goodbye.